Hi everyone, I'm Miss Heather, and today I'm going to be reading to you our Sunday School lesson from today, just in case you missed it. We're going to be learning about our homes, and our memory verse that goes with it is, The Lord will indeed give what is good, Psalms 85, 12. And the scripture we're going to be reading from is 2 Kings 4, 8 through 13. I'm going to start off by reading the story from the Bible, and then I have an easier story of it, just in case you don't quite understand the Bible version. So, I'm going to start reading. And if I mispronounce anything, I'm sorry. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. So, one day, Elisha went to Shunem, and a well-to-do woman was there who urged him to stay for a meal. So, whenever he came by, he stopped there to eat. She said to her husband, I know that this man who often comes our way is a holy man of God. Let us make a small room on the roof and put it in or put in a bed, a table, a chair and a lamp for him. Then he can stay there whenever he comes to us. One day Elisha came, he went up to his room and lay down there. He said to his servant, Gez. Jehezi, oh, sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, call the Shumanites. So he called her and she stood before him. Elisha said to him, tell her you have gone to all this trouble for us. Now what can be done for you? Can we speak on your behalf to the king or the commander of the army? She replied, I have a home among my own people. So that was from the Bible. So I'm going to read an easier story, just in case you didn't quite get that one. <clears throat> All right. Elisha was a prophet. He told people about God. Elisha didn't have a home to live in, but he wasn't worried because he knew that God cared about where he lived. Elisha went to a town called Shunem to tell the people about God. A woman who lived in Shunem knew Elisha loved and obeyed God. She asked Elisha to come to her house for a meal. Elisha gladly went with the woman to her home. He was hungry. Elisha ate and talked to the woman and her husband. Soon they became good friends. After that, every time Elisha went to Shunem, he went to his friend's house. And every time his friends made a nice meal for him. How would that be cool? Or that would be cool, wouldn't it? Go to your friend's house and always have good food. That'd be awesome. So I lost my spot. And every time Elisha thanked God and the woman and her husband for giving him what he needed. One day the woman suggested to her husband, Elisha comes here often to tell us about God. But when he comes, he doesn't have a place to live. <clears throat> Let's make a room for him. When Elisha comes to Shunem, he will have his own home. The woman and her husband built an extra room onto her house. What? That's just cool. You know, go to your friend's house and they have your own room. That'd be awesome. Now Elisha would have a place to live when he came to Shunem. The woman and her husband added furniture for Elisha to use. They carried a bed into the room and they brought in a table and a lamp. They put in a stool for sitting. They probably put a water jug and a bowl in there so Elisha could use to wash himself. So he had like his own bathroom in his like own room. That's so cool. I think I'd want to move in with him too. And I done lost my spot again. Now the room was finished. This would be a comfortable place for Elisha to live. The woman and her husband could hardly wait to show Elisha. The next time Elisha came to Shunem, he went to see his friends, as he always did. Imagine the surprise that whenever he saw that room for the first time. Yeah, he was so happy. Wouldn't you be happy? Like, you go to your friend's house and be like, hey, you have your own room now. That would be so cool. So he was probably, or I'm sorry, he was so thankful that God used the woman to provide a place for him to live. 
Elisha asked the woman what could he do to thank her for her kindness. Elisha wanted to help her because she had helped him. But the woman only said, I live with my own people. I have everything I need. So she didn't want anything in return. That's so nice. This was her way of saying that she knew that God cared where she lived. She had a home and all the good things she needed. She didn't want anything from Elisha. Elisha knew that God cared about where he lived because of the way God had the woman make a room just for him. God cares about where we live too. So what's it like where you live? Hmm? So I have some questions now to see if you was paying attention. So who was Elisha? Any guesses? If you said Elisha was a prophet, a man who told people about God, then you were right. Good job. What did the woman know about Elisha? Any guesses? If you said she knew Elisha loved and obeyed God, then you're also correct. What did the woman do to make Elisha's room more comfortable? Well, any guesses? If you said she put in a bed, a stool, a table with a lamp, and probably a water jug and bowl, then you were right again. Now, last question. Are you ready for this one? Because this one's probably like really, really hard. How do we know that God cares about where we live? Any guesses? Bible story about Elisha shows us that God cares. God cared about where Elisha lived, so we know he cares about where we live too. That that's a good story. So today, I already got the craft finisher. I was going to do it with you. But we made Elisha's room. And do you remember what all was in his room? We just talked about it. There was a bed and a table and a watering jug and all that. And you get to make... Oh. See, there's his bed. There's his little table. Everyone said this looks like the Aladdin. The cup from Aladdin. I've only seen the movie once. I can't really, I don't know. Pretty cool, huh? And then we had to talk about what our rooms look like. So I, I had to just, I like lots of colors. So I made my room extra colorful today. So it looks nothing like this picture. But I gave it green walls. There's my TV and my bed. And I even put my little guinea pig Savannah in there. And she, she, she's wearing a little princess crown because she thinks she's a princess. She's really spoiled. So what'd you think of today's lesson? Was it good? And next week, we're going to be learning about, give you a little sneak peek. We're going to learn about being a friend. Are you guys good friends to each other? I hope so. And before I forget, this is the book I'm using for my Sunday school lesson. And I really enjoy it. So, I will see you next week. Bye.